Good morning, it is the Nintendo Kid coming at you with more 64. Last time we finished up Paul Tell Mountain. In this part, we're gonna do my favorite world, TikTok Clock. Excuse me, I have to click on something. Reacting to the star power of the Bleh. So, um, there's a secret star in one of these, they're identical, and then there's a world. But let's go quickly grab a secret star. And I go I know you guys love the voice. There's something strange about the clock as you jump inside. Watch the position of the big hand. Oh, look what I found here, Mario Kid. I did that all with one breath. Here we go. And that's 83. And do you want to save? You bet. Now, the gimmick of this world, which, by the way, is really cool, is the fact that, you know, we're going right here, is the fact that, depending on where the, um, your minute hand, your, uh, as Toad said, the big hand or the minute hand, is that determines the speed of the obstacles. Something a little bit strange with this world, the camera angles are always pretty weird. Uh, but it's like you're in a giant clock, which makes no sense, because there's, like, a bunch of, um, minute hands and hour hands and... And, um, there's a lot of, uh, things that are uh, pretty out of place. I mean, I don't believe I'd see things like this within a, a clock, but, you know, what? I mean, I mean, I don't know how they make clocks in Japan, so get used to seeing this stuff a lot. And I mean a lot. This is also one of my favorite tracks in the game, so I'm happy. So this is, uh, by far the easiest star. Unless, wait, it's, uh, called Pit and Dependable. Here we go! Actually, the red coin's pretty easy. You just gotta do it a bunch of times. So, I... By the way, what I had to click on was, some um, a notepad I put up to... to tell me the speed of the obstacles. The pit and the Pendulum. I honestly don't remember this one, but we're gonna... We're gonna try. Yeah, so as I- cause like, there's no different paths, it's doing this a lot. And by a lot, I do mean a lot. Alright. Whoa! Like, I- and I do- actually, you know what, we can do this one real quick. Whoa! I didn't know that guy was there. Where is it? Oh, that's right, I'm on slow. That's like a medium for that. Uh, it's coming around though. Whatever, I already moved on. Watch out for that, because it's quite evil. The song is cool. <laughs> yeah, so like, get used to this. In all seriousness, I mean, there are, like, no different paths, just a longer path. So basically, the longer the path you go on, the higher up star you'll get. I think, I think that's actually the truth. Except for sometimes you have to use, like, these guys to do whatever. Oh man, I really hate the camera angle. I don't think I'm going for the, pen the pencil, I think I'm going to time jumps with moving bars, but whatever. No, that was the pit and pencil. Okay. Oh, 100 coins suck in this world. Gotta watch out getting hit from these pendulums. This star is not hard, it's just you gotta, like, climb it. There we go. There's another one. Here we go! So I was right, that was the pit and pencil. Alright, um, let's go do that. That's a bit above medium. Get a hand. Get a hand. Like, if I'm repeating the names, it's because, like, I just looked these up. Because when I, what I do, this is, this is how this goes. I turn on Nintendo 64. I'm like, okay, what world am I gonna be doing? Or if I'm in half world, what world, and then part of another one am I gonna be doing? Then, I look up how to get the stars on 
the internet. Thank you, Jarvis Gannon. Then, from there, I, I, um, how far out is the, uh, it's full circle. So we're just gonna wait here for a minute. Then, I practice. There's coins in there. Then I practice. Then I make a video. Then, I make more videos, then I upload once a day, then I, I think about how I could have improved upon said videos, but a bit late for that. So we're just waiting for the this giant hand. I'm like, you know what, maybe we're in like a different view of a clock than normal. Maybe like, this is a minute or the hour hand, probably the second the way it's moving right now. But, and maybe, like, if you look up, and I'm gonna look up real quick. Well, like, I can't really look up in the way I want to. Maybe looking up is actually, like, the view from the side of the thing. I don't know what I'm even talking about, and I'm gonna make another clicking sound to move my thing. Wow, already six minutes. Uh, so basically, now there's, like, some... Zapper guys. I don't know their name. So we're just gonna go. And that's how you get that star. Here we go! If you haven't guessed by now, I really love this world. I mean, just, it is by far my favorite. I, I just, I wish they would have done something more with it. Alright, so medium. Ah, uh, that was above medium. Crap. Ooh, stomp the swamp. If this is the one I think it is, this is probably going to take up the rest of the video. But god, I think she's got it! I need to tell more stories, but I don't have a lot of stories because we're not in school. And because we're not in school, things don't happen that, to me that are fun, like, every day. So, you know. Na -na 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 I don't even know where time jumps on moving bars are. Crap. I don't- I probably should have. Honestly, I actually watched the videos to just get the timing, because I thought I would remember as soon as I just started the world. But I haven't. I actually think it's this way, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, uh, but we're not doing that star right now, are we? Actually, I have to go that way, so. Don't I? Do I jump that way or do I jump this way? You know what? I'm gonna go that way. And I missed. That's one of the cool things about this world is that miscalculated jumps will send you back far, but to be fair, it is quite possible to land back on these obstacles. Ah, oh, you know what? I just watched the Alcatraz episode for the amazing quote-unquote race. Okay, or the Great Escape, I'm sorry. The Amazing Race is something else. The Great Escape. Alright, guys, guys, exactly what challenge was there? I'm, I'm gonna go over what they had to do, okay? They, let's see, they played hide and seek in their, um, their cells for a minute. Then, uh, then, after that, they, um, then they had to get tools, then they busted open a box. Then they ran. Then they tied a soda can to a string. And then had to get something with the soda can on a string. Then they ran some more. Whoops, that's death. And they ran some more. Then, you know, I'm just gonna go for the red coins. Then they ran, and then they had to move some ammo crates. Then, 
they got on a- then they had to find a canister of gas over here. See how everything's shut off? That's pretty cool. Whoa! You're following me pretty far, buddy. And then... So after- then they just got on a boat. Very, very difficult. I mean, like, to be fair, it did take them a couple hours, because when they started it was, like, dark, and then by the time that the winning team got to the, uh, the boat, I mean, got to the car with all their money in it, it was, uh, daytime. Why can't you grab onto those platforms? Like, seriously. I know I was just going for Stomp the Swamp, but that, that's difficult, and I just died, and I don't feel like doing that. Right now. I mean, not to say that it wasn't hard or anything, but I mean, I get it. They were they were probably strained, and you know that. Wow, what happened there? I'm just saying, it it just doesn't look difficult enough to win a hundred thousand dollars. You know, it's difficult. Jeopardy. You know how much they win on average a day? Like fifteen thousand. That's that's average. Not even. Like, sometimes a lot less. Sometimes more. I don't even know what the highest winning streak on Jeopardy is, but I'm gonna assume it's only like half a million, and that's probably over a week. You know. Like games of skill, I believe should be should be a bit um people should care for a bit more than just whatever. It's like the whole why do we pay athletes so much money when they're like people that actually, you know, have a meaning to society. Not to say that they don't, but I mean like, would you rather pay 10 million dollars so you can watch a like, and that's for one player, for someone to go play baseball. Or would you rather, like, have ten million dollars donated to cancer research, so you can, like, stop cancer? You know. Like, I'm just saying, so if we, if we kick a bunch of people that were good at sports salary down, even by one million dollars a year, so, you know, they're still paid a lot, you know, that's, that's still quite a lot of money that America, or, well, that the coaches and, and the people that uh, go to the games pay. Tickets and memorabilia will probably go down, and I'm just failing. And stuff. I mean, the prices will just go down. They will just... And then, you know, we'll, then the money will probably be given to something a bit more of use. Got it. Here we go! I'm gonna take advantage of my more than 15 minutes. I'm gonna try to get Stomp the Swamp. Real quick, real quick, real quick. Yeah. I'm just gonna do that. Stomp on the Swamp. And 100 coins suck. I mean, 100 coins suck in like every world, but this is like super sucky. Cause like, if you fail to grab two coins, you fail to grab 92 coins. Cause like, if you're at the end and you have 99 coins, you didn't kill that bomb, bomb throw them off the cliff, you are screwed. Although I, I still do like this world. No. I went, I went from the Amazing Race to, to sport. Wow. I care too much, guys. That's all I'm gonna say is that I care, care too much, care too much. Oh, there we go. Alright, here we go. You know, I, th there's this really good and um. All right, well, there's moving bars. This is really good, um, Law & Order SVU on the other night. It's like this guy, his name is Merritt Brooks. 
Yeah, actually, I don't, I don't want to describe that. I don't, I, don't wanna. I don't feel like talking about Law and Order. That's to be Wait, no. Ooh! Huh. That was lucky. Oh, yeah. That's a tight double jump. Or a death jump. Alright. But again, that's that's more of a pro for this world than a con. Oh, dude. I wish I had like skill at this game. You know, uh, I was looking over NCS and when he played this game, right? And I know I, I shouldn't compare myself to him as you know, he's had probably a lot more experience and, and such. And, although I did, and I'm like, Whoa. well, there goes that. And I'm like, okay, well, his playlist is like seven hours long, right? I check mine, and it's current, current static, like, it's already like two hours. And I probably have the other seven uploaded. It makes you think, you know, if this, this big YouTuber has done this game, why would anybody watch mine? But I'm already getting pretty close to 100 views, so... You know, that's good. I mean, not that 100's like a giant milestone to a lot of people, but... You know, for someone who's only had this account since about 13 days ago... Oh, come on! Seriously? Ow! Okay, I think this is doing it on purpose. Alright, if I die, we're gonna... We're gonna not do this anymore. See you guys next time. I'll get caught up.